welcome to our channel. I'm Tiffany. And I'm Hugo. We're sell quick, ship quick, part-time resellers. Full-time hustlers. And in the spirit of Halloween... I thought, you know, let's bring back the 80s, huh? And jazzercise. And jazzercise. <laughs> well, we have our Hawaii trip. Yeah. We are in Hawaii going to be in Hawaii in Hawaii yeah when this airs we will be in Hawaii so we thought we would do something a little bit different Fridays is usually our haul day um we're doing a haul we're yeah, hauling we're hauling but it is a money pile yes not death pile money pile haul, haul. um then it's gonna get real oh yeah you're gonna see what we have not done because mm -hmm. um, as much as we all want to say we thrift list and sell doesn't always go in that order well clothes is easier for me to take care of um, and I will always look at shoes because my not my bolo list I guess my bolo list or like what I want to find are Rothy's so yeah. I always check this shoe section and I have not found them. But then I find other shoes and um, I hate cleaning shoes. So you might recognize some of these. Maybe you will, maybe you won't, but. There's a bit. There's a bit. So uh, let's get to it. All, all right. right. All right. <laughs> so we got cycling shoes. These are Lake Performance Composite shoes. Yeah, so we picked them up. We've shown you guys in the past. Not all cycling shoes are made equal, so always look them up. See. All right, next up we have Uggs. These are my personal Uggs. Um, I've had these for a long time. Many moons. Many moons ago, I purchased these. In the kids section at a sports chalet. That's how long ago it was. Because sports chalet <laughs> no longer no exists. exists. <laughs> um, but these are the like knitted button. Sides, yeah. If you can wear them up high. You can roll them down on the side. Yeah. And so there's these. They're not really worn too much. Alright. We have these boots which came from our Portland haul. Which um, was in July. And uh, we still have not listed them. These are the La Canadian waterproof boots. Let's see if I could get this to zoom in. There you go. Uh, but these are a size nine. There you go. Nine. Um, yeah, the comps still, are good. Yeah, comps look good. The problem is they're, they're not, not listed. listed. Um, oh yeah. These are, what are these? These are uh, the Vibram, or are these? These are the fireman shoes. Ah, uh, yes. Um, protective clothing and equipment for wildland firefighting. So... Yeah, this is, this is real. I think this is moved in, huh? Yeah, so your brother, my brother-in-law, um, is a fireman, and his... One of his best friends used to live here. He's also a fireman. And he left behind these boots. He said um, we could have them. He's like, keep them. Yeah, you sell them. Do whatever you want. These do have the Vibram bottoms. So they yeah. are not steel toe, but they're actually the official uh, fi wildland fire. Still yep. not listed. It happens. It happens. All right. Another pair of boots. We have these Solomon hiking boots. Uh, Gore-Tex, these are a size 11 in men's, mm -hmm. and it, apparently it's a negative in women's because there's no name for it. There's no number <laughs> for it. Um, but these are hiking boots right here. Uh, Solomon is the brand. There you go. And um, always keep an eye out for that Gore-Tex. They put it sometimes on the bottom of the shoe. In this case, it has a small little... You can barely read it, but that little metal plaque. Um, I can't even tell you how long ago we got these because 
last year? Probably. And they've just been sitting in our garage. Just gotta be uh, honest, uh, we don't get to list it all. <laughs> all right, so these were a gamble. I was sourcing by myself and I do remember these. Um, these boots right here, well, they're supposedly Doc Martens. Um, but as you can see, these are pointy-toed Doc Martens. Um, but the bottoms of them, it does look legit, but we couldn't find these anywhere. They're, it says made in England. And um, what was hard is that the leather is actually quite flimsy feeling. Yeah, which but, throws us off. but the inside, it has all the right markings. Um, we the, spoke with Orlando and he's telling us to get them up. Yeah, and the girl that cuts your hair? Yeah, the girl that cuts my hair, she wears all kinds of boots and it, she actually helped us find them online. Which and we found them, but they were... goth. Yes, they were like goth Doc Martin boots and they used to be sold in a store that is no longer around in Hollywood. Yeah. Now I don't remember the name of the store, but... If you have seen these pointy toed Doc Martin boots, please let us know what yeah. to call them. Any info is welcome. Or if they're real. <laughs> yeah. Uh, next up, we have SAS or SAS comfort shoes. They're these beautiful walking shoes. Um, so SAS is like San Antonio something no yeah i think so right san yeah. antonio is it support i don't know if you know it just drop it there because i can't it's not on here right now but sas yeah we've sold sas like sandals in the past but these are the walking tennis shoes um and these are made in the usa yeah comfort shoes oh and here's another sas but these are the sandals uh this just is it. No. No, but these are basic sandals right here. A little heel in the back. Yeah, another pair of sandals here. We have these reef sandals. Uh, they're new with tags. Real nice. But these are the ones that have a bottle opener in the bottom. Because, you know, when you're partying out and you just have to open up a bottle, you got your sandal. All right. We got what I think are real. Prada um, high sandals. Would they be wedges? I don't know. They're a little like beat up on the back, but my mom gave these to me. Um, and I want to say they're real, but they do have this like black stain right here that I'm not, I haven't tried to get out. I'm not completely sure what it is. But it does say made in Italy, and they are size 38. We showed these. I forgot which way is From it? Portland. Is it this way? F FSNY? Yes. So these are made in Spain, which is what stopped, made me stop to look them up. But they have a nice, like, scalloped edge all around. Uh, and they are size eight and a half. And as you can see, this is made in Spain. Um, they're really cute. They're really clean. The insides look, for the most part, barely worn. Yeah, the bottom has some wear, but not too shabby. All right, we have these Sam Edelman stilettos, ankle strap yeah clearly we list a lot of shoes can you tell um these are the ariella edelman's so the bottoms looked really clean very light markings on it um and this is a size 11 m so here you go and Sam Edelman. I forget what these are called, but like this uh, type of thong sandal with the ankle strap right here. They're not basket 
thong sandals. So I've been making the excuse of why I haven't listed these sandals mm. because I don't have that clear like plastic thing that holds it up so they don't look flimsy. Um, so that's why I haven't listed it. Good reason, good reason. We all have one and that is ours. <laughs> we have here some Kohans. And so really like the color on this one. Uh, but again, Kohans, we haven't listed them. I'm sure some of you out there are like, um, put those up. We will. Well, these aren't actually worth that much, I don't think. I think these sit in the 30. Yeah. I've seen some that go at like 20, but those have like really bad pictures and all that stuff. Yeah. All right, next up we have the Sam Edelman's that need to be cleaned. All that gunk that's on the side, uh, but there are these like high heeled, high ankle like zip up things. I don't know. I, don't, I wouldn't call them gladiator heels because they don't go up that high. No. But these are a size 10 and they are the Anastasia. Nice. Alright, we have these red patent leather Stuart Weitzman open toe heels. Uh, the bottoms don't look too bad right here. Um, the insides are okay. They do need a wipe down. These are a seven and a half. Yeah. Again, I think these are not amazing comps on these, but, but they're I think really clean. Normally when we pick up Stuart Weitzman, it's because they're super cheap, either at the bins or um, like half off day at our local stores with a coupon. Hmm. Alright, so these are already in the bag. And what happened with these were, I think I had taken photos of these and then my computer crashed and then somehow like the pictures got lost somewhere in the channels of yeah, it was the famous crash of uh, 2019. Oh, okay. Um, but these are Kate Spade sandals, um, which probably should have been listed for summer. So it is no longer summer. But we do promote that we don't list seasonal. Yes. <laughs> so they do have this cute bow here. Um, the bottoms of these are super clean. When we picked this up, I think we picked this up because it looked like they were not worn. Yeah. At all. We have some shape ups, um, discontinued style true. I pretty sure it's discontinued, uh, but basic shape ups. The grip look very good. There is some slight sna like uh, snagging on the sketcher thing, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be okay. Other than that, the actual grip is fine, but yeah, that needs to be cleaned up. So that gunky stuff is what holds me back from cleaning because I don't like to clean the gunky stuff. Or, it's not that I don't like cleaning, it's the time that goes into the cleaning and it, it takes a tedious. while. It's tedious cleaning. And then I think, problem. well I could be listing, you know, 10 items and the amount of time it takes me to do all that. But I'm gonna do it. I'm going to do it. And then we have... Three pairs. Of, uh, I think they're the same ones, aren't they? Yep. These are cycling shoes. Um, these are Shimano's. So it's got the little holes for the clips. Um, these are, these we think belong to a studio of yeah, some kind. because I think they all showed up at the same time. But besides that, there's numbers on the back. So here there's a 46 on it. That's got a number 42. 42. This one's got a 41, so we think maybe a local cycling studio dumped their shoes. Yeah, on uh, I mean, it sounds like, oh, that means they probably got worn a lot, but it's a studio, so nobody wore these out. So there aren't major scuffs at all, really. I mean, they're still in pretty good condition. Yeah, so cycling shoes, um, at least the Shimano's, I think, they'll go anywhere between, I want to say like 20 to 40. Yeah. That now, we've seen for us. The hook and loop. Again, hook and loop. Not Velcro. Uh, they do okay. Now, if you find the ones that have a twist, which is like a cable that's um, 
tied up around this one, you twist it, it tightens up the shoe. Those do a lot better. All right, here we have two pairs of Nikes. We have these Nike shocks, uh, which has like the little hole things. I haven't even like looked shocks. these up. So, and then here's another pair of Nike Air Max shoes. These right here, we have not looked up. I have not looked up because these were given to us by our client. Oh, here you go. Probably won't even list this. I think her dog chewed through the <laughs> top. So these are going to get donated. Um, but our client, she has like a foot. She's not flat footed. She has some type of like issue with her feet and she can't wear the insoles. So these are missing the insoles. I don't know if you can see that. But it's missing the insoles, so I've been just yeah. lagging on listing it because they don't excite me. No. Uh, and then here we got a pair of Clarks. 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 Small, basic, little. Uh, Your basic. Quarter heel. They're cute. They're standard shoes. They're comfortable shoes. Yeah. Um. We have these Merrells. Uh, I think they're women's. Vibram. Um, yeah, just basic hiking shoes. They're in decent condition. Uh, these are a size... Oh, they are the Siren Sport Olive. Women's size 7. I mean, obviously. I saw those and I instantly thought Siren Sports Olive. Yeah, they just need a wipe down. They look like they've been used, so the person who used these actually hiked in them. Yeah. I think. We've, I not, see we've, we've come across some Merrells, which of course we're happy that they weren't used. But it looks like they bought it, used it once, and hated hiking and never used it again. <laughs> Alright, we have these Brooks shoes. I think these are the Aerials. Uh, these, I vaguely remember getting them um, a long time ago. Yeah. So. Part of it, the condition's really nice. Yeah, like the bottoms of the shoes don't look too bad. The, the inside. The insides are clean. And I think we had picked these up fairly cheap, which was why we got them. Yep. And then, look at that. Another pair of cycling shoes. These are SIDIs. CD. I don't know. But, again, basic pair. Velcro. Hook and loop. Um... So one of the things I was going to point out, you'll see in a lot of the cycling shoes, this thing has one of the, what would be like a clip. So this is actually interchangeable. You can get better brands that hook to your type of pedal and whatnot. So with that in mind, sometimes they have them, sometimes they don't. Or sometimes one does, the other doesn't. What we often do, take both off and sell it without it, so that whoever buys it can get whichever one they want. All right, so a lot of these next few pairs are from our Portland haul, which was, like I said, in, you know what, actually, August. So they were two months ago, still sitting here, still not cleaned, um, and if Chrissy sees this, she might scold us. Especially because so. we're going to be with her when this drops. <laughs> um, these are dance goes. These were all bin finds. That's where we shopped when we were in Portland. Uh, they're in really good condition and these other dance goes that we picked up right here Really good condition. Also really good condition. I know. I know shame shame and you know the bottoms aren't even that dirty So no excuses Sorry, Chrissy And then we got boots on boots on boots. So we got Uggs, I think these are the Bailey button um, so I haven't listed these because they are... They need a lot of cleaning. They need a lot of love. A lot of love. Uh, I do have like the uh, UGG cleaners. So it's just a matter of me sitting down and um, scrubbing it through. Yeah, there's like stuff on the bottom. but Then we got these very clean soles on these uh, North Face. The tops look a little dirty, which kind of is confusing because the bottom looks brand new but you can see up here there's a color discoloration like it actually was used but simple cleaning and get these up all right here are these other uggs 
which are supposed to be black but as you can see the front parts of them look like faded out right here um and i believe reseller revolution had put out a video way back when with collectrolite i was I it so. yeah i think she had cleaned a pair of boots was it her or christina maybe christina but they did a video which we need to replay um i'm probably gonna put that in the background while i clean because this is all like white back here but i'm pretty sure we can clean that up and make it look black again yeah without using a sharpie <laughs> wait Oops, sorry oh. we got a pair of uh pendleton's pendleton's again portland real nice what, what are these like i forgot but they were sold at urban what like moccasins but with the sock so soccasins i feel like it should be called soccasin a long time ago, Hugo used to say really, really uh, <laughs> incorrect words, and I would keep a dictionary of Hugo language because he would say flirst instead of first, uh, time instead of time. He I wanted to that... cook me a skate, not a steak. <laughs> what else did you say? I don't know. I had a dictionary the, on my phone. It got too long, and the, her data started, eat, it started eating up her storage. Uh, we have these Minnetonkas. Have you heard of them? Let us know. And it's got the cute little ringy thing. Um, they remind me of Pocahontas boots. Which when I was younger, I loved Pocahontas and I was really dark. And you walked around with I walked hair around. Now with my long hair like down to my waist and I had all the jewelry and I wore my Pocahontas shirt and I had my Miko pin. Yeah, I thought it was Pocahontas. I did too. Yep, I thought it was just around the river bend. <laughs> and here we have a pair of Ugg espadrilles with the lace up. These need to get cleaned because yeah. the ribbon is dirty. I'm probably gonna soak the ribbon yeah, and there's some and stuff. discoloration on the actual. Yeah. And then we have these uh, N-A-O-T. Not. 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 Uh, these sandals. And I think these are Israeli sandals. Um, the bottoms. <sighs> Already fairly clean. But same. I don't have the clippy thing, you know, to hold it up and show the shape so what if when you're taking pictures i put my hand in them for you and i just show this you think that'll help i think we'll get a request to take down our photos <laughs> ebay's gonna take us down for an offensive picture <laughs> all right so those are our shoes and so shoes are done um this whole rack that is all stuff that needs to get listed too. We're not going to go through all of it, but as you can see, we have a little bit of everything here, including... All right, so we have a tennis racket, a Wilson tennis racket. This is brand new. The plastic is still wrapped around the handle. We have... So we messed up on this part because we didn't realize it was still in here. But we have these Ray Dunn plates. Um, and they're Halloween plates and Halloween is basically over uh, We have the snapback uh, Jameson whiskey These are Stuart Weitzman shoes that went with the Kate Spade shoes. Oh, they, that's the pictures pictures got lost somewhere and I Crash haven't read 2019. Yes um, We have more Ray Dunn plates. These are also Halloween edition Oh, I have this Lululemon visor and the stuff that's in the bags, that's part of the crash. Yeah. Um, and they're new with tags. It's Lululemon fast paced run visor. We got a power cord. Yeah, that's just something I put in there. Uh, oh, this is another Ray Dunn mug. Uh, and it says sweater weather. Weather. But isn't that cute? So we had an extra one. This we had actually bought last Christmas. Or around Christmas time, we had gone to the store. We built our own little um, 
combo bundle yeah bundle uh we found i think there was like four different designs for christmas we got all four we put the plates together um we sold it as a lot and we sold it to somewhere in Texas, I think. Yeah. But we had picked up an extra one in hopes of building a second lot. Yeah, like while we kept shopping about. We got these. Some RC parts. For a toy car. Yeah. So once upon a time, we would break apart board games. So these pieces right here are Monopoly pieces. We have the dice. We have the properties. Um, yeah, that has not gone up. No. Oh, good to know. You have two sets. I have two sets of uh, hair roller clips. So we've talked about selling like the hot rollers. We've been selling them and I've had some without clips and apparently I had clips. Again, know, your, know where your stuff is. Also had uh, this, a Wii U. Only the console piece. But it still sells. I got this real cheap. I forgot how much. Because I told the person, oh, it has no cables. Uh, but even sold as is, not working for parts. Easy to ship, easy to sell. Should be listed. So, Ryan's Egg. If you didn't know, now you know. This was the hot toy of 2018. Uh, we sent in a bunch to Amazon. I think and we sold some. Set... We no, sold... I think we sold maybe one. I thought we had like three of them. We had three. So we sold two. Okay. We sold two and then the prices tanked on Amazon and Real we quick. got this shipped back to us. Yeah. So this was from Amazon Return. December of 2018 mm -hmm. along with... Might be a gift for a kid. Oh yeah. Meryl Shoes. So if you don't sell on Amazon and you don't know how Amazon works, you send things in if you're ungated, ungated or, or unrestricted, unrestricted or approved to sell. Well, we sent in these really nice men's Merrill shoes. And we were approved at the time that we sent them in. So we sent them in. This was all uh, saran wrapped. Before we sent them in, we put our barcode on it. And then a few weeks after we sent them in, we got a... Like cease and desist letter? No, 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 no. It was just a removal letter. It was one of the. It basically Amazon said, "Hey, we noticed you have this brand. Now, in order to sell this brand, we'd like to see an invoice." And, and it had to be like an invoice from the manufacturer or some kind of approved wholesale. So we had three pairs of these. Three pairs got returned to us. They are still sitting here because we have not listed them. So that was part of our Amazon returns. Yep, we got some other stuff here. What else do we have? We got some board games. We have a, uh, oh yeah, picked up this camera a bit ago. This is uh, one of those cameras that you can wires connect to your Wi-Fi and, con and you can move it around and everything. I had fun testing it, but apparently not enough to list it. So I gotta get that up. All right, we got some hats here. We have this Mickey hat. Uh, from D Disney Parks. This was a yard sale find earlier in the year. Also, Goofy? Pluto? Pluto. Pluto. A Pluto hat. Oh, look. Does this go with my... It actually goes with the outfit, doesn't it? Which way? Uh... <laughs> and then we have this Harris Tweed hat. Um... So this was from a estate sale where I also picked up a bunch, I think like, no, not a bunch, but like three pieces of exclusively mistook tops, which all sold already. So we made our money back and some. This hat was from that haul. I'm not a fan of taking pictures of hats, which is why we haven't done it. Yeah, then they have a little answering machine. I've mentioned in the past, answer machine sell. Uh, this one sells as well. It's not huge money this one specifically because I believe this one is memory based So the ones that sell better are the older looking ones that still use the little cassettes just because of nostalgic feeling I guess But yeah, gotta get this out. We have these Grey's Anatomy shoes these clogs 
I don't know how long ago they've been, but they were hiding underneath a bunch of stuff. And I think you picked these out. Yeah, I think I picked them out. We have a little coffee maker. Uh, these coffee makers do sell. Um, I think, if I remember right, I listed this one. And then, again, be careful when you do use a sell similar. I was doing a quick listing. I just did sell similar. Didn't pay attention. Well, the item that was sold similar was for the bigger version of this. So we got a message saying, hey, that doesn't look like the, you know, 13 inch or whatever size it was. And that's when I was like, uh-oh. So I had to take it down. Redo the listing. Haven't redone the listing. But, got that. All right, we have... I don't remember where these came from, but these like antique I think that came from our friend. Pictures. Um, it just these are made in Italy. Yeah, so these are Italy plastic. They're pretty basic looking, but because they are made in Italy, they're worth keeping to list. Which we have we looked this up? Uh, I think I looked it up with our friend from yeah. the antique shop. Yeah, that is pretty cool. Um, what else do we have? Oh, we have your thing in here. Yeah. We have some, uh, well, we kept this one, crystal. We haven't listed it partially because we haven't looked it up. We don't haven't figured it out, but it's the nicest piece we had for when my mom left us a bunch of stuff, so we kept it for... I think that's Prince's house. Yeah. So, kept that we also one. have these PlayStation remotes that need to be. Um, here's a charger cord for a Lenovo laptop. Laptop. Oh yeah. Cool little timer. This is a camera timer for an old camera. Not listed. Oh, we have an iPhone. Yeah. This is like iPhone. many. Yeah. Color or C? I, yeah. Something C. C++. Uh, and then see. just some costume jewelry. Forever 21 jewelry. Oh, here's a mini Bible that we got for 25 cents. A bunch of my old Forever 21 jewelry that I had told myself I would list, which I don't know if it's worth listing this jewelry, so I am going to rethink that. Uh, it might be a donation. Yeah. Let's see what else do we have. Ooh, we have these cute martini glasses. Yeah, it's more like dessert martini glasses so these are crate and barrel mm. mini martini two ounce glasses our friend from the antique shop gave us i think it's 12 yeah a set of 12 uh so we couldn't find comps for it which is why we haven't listed it we were debating if they should go Ooh, hey. Ooh, what's that they're alive yeah. Uh, let's see what else do we have. Oh, we have Anthropology perfume. This is the Mistral, made in France. Um, yeah. Uh, I think I picked up five. I listed four, and this somehow fell out of that cycle. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, oh no, we can keep going. We do have money pile. Uh, in plenty to list. So on the plus side, even though we are out of town, we will be coming back to plenty of things to work list. on. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, this was our confession video. True life. We're semi hoarders. Yeah. But uh, we can become resellers if we push that out. Uh, I'm sure. Let us know how big is your death pile or money pile. Is it clothes? Is it hard goods? I mean, in our case, as you notice, most of it is shoes. So do you prefer to call it a death pile or a money pile? That's a good one. Yeah. Because we were calling it a death pile for a while, um, just because that's the term that people were using. Yeah. We didn't really think anything negative about it. Then people turned around and said, let's call it a money pile to be positive. And I was like, hey, that sounds great. Still didn't list it, but it sounds great. <laughs> Uh, yeah, but I hope you guys enjoyed um, seeing us reveal our dark secrets. Our dark secrets. Uh, and hopefully we get held accountable because we put this out and we know that everyone knows that uh, we have this pile that needs to be listed because it could make us money. <laughs>
I mean, it will make us money. Yes, it will make us money when it gets listed. Yeah. So, as always, thank you for joining us. Uh, yeah. And, uh, hope to see you guys next week. And if you like this, give us a thumbs up. Um, hit the bell and subscribe. Yes, subscribe and hit that little bell. Yeah. All right. Bye-bye.